Hello and welcome to our Balanced Body Podcast here at EHS Pilates in San Francisco. My name is Nancy Myers and this is Michelle Moday. She's going to help me show you the dual foot corrector standing footwork. The foot corrector is an excellent tool that you can incorporate into your practice. As we learned in a previous podcast that you can do some of those great releases for the foot. It's important to release the foot before you do footwork in any environment because we have a wear pattern, a postural movement pattern that you'll see results in hot spots. If you were to take an imprint of the foot before doing the releases, you would see hot spots where certain joints might be constricted and that hits the ground before something else. And after doing the releases, you see a much more equal distribution of weight throughout the foot. Now, once you get someone all beautifully lined up on the reformer, how many times have we seen once you come back up to standing, it changes everything. So being able to do standing footwork in the resistance of the foot corrector is of great benefit. So we're gonna have Michelle step up onto the correctors right on the foot plate at the subtalar joint, right where the ankle comes down into the foot. We're going to have her hold on to the wall to help with her balance in parallel hip knee ankle distance apart. Now, just like on the reformer when we're marching, we're trying to stabilize the pelvis. Now we're going to try and do the same in a standing environment on an unstable surface. As you're standing on the foot corrector, make sure that you're not contracting the toes, but just think of the foot melting over the foot bar. If this is too much resistance on the foot, if you have something like an inflamed plantar fascia, this can also be done seated. We don't want to further inflame that fascia. Now go ahead and go into your march, Michelle. Stabilizing that pelvis, we're looking for not a huge, huge lateral translation of weight side to side. You're looking for the samba hips. Everything that you would be looking for on your reformer doing footwork, we're now taking to standing. The foot corrector also has a heavier spring option that comes with your foot corrector if you needed more resistance for a larger person. So here is your marching. Now we're gonna take that into a different variation by bringing the ball of the foot onto the foot plate and the heel on the foot bar. So we're in your plantar flexion and you're gonna march here. <laughs> Trying to stabilize the pelvis as much as possible. and keeping nice wide toe spread. Also watching that ankles are not supinating or pronating. Now we're gonna take this into a mini lunge. So carefully step off of here and we're gonna slide one pedal back in a natural step distance. Same foot position, ball of the foot is on the foot plate and the heel is on top of the foot bar. So now we're placing her in a mini lunge position. And then we're going to do opposition here. So as she starts to weight into the front heel, she's also pressing back into the back heel so that you feel engagement on both sides equally. And release back again. Press into the resistance on the front heel as you press into the back heel so that you're activating the whole back of the leg. You get glutes on both sides and release. And again, press into the resistance on both sides equally for mid stance. Beautiful. And that's your introduction to the dual unit foot corrector Thank you for joining us.